The day starts early at Casa Capricorn for Norman Gitson and his hungry crew of creatures. If you haven't heard of him, Norman Gitson is a well-known sculptor here in South Florida. He is also a carpenter, wood artisan, a passionate environmentalist, and an advocate of healthy living and eating. He is well known for his large mermaid sculpture that rightfully goes by the name The Siren. He is also recognized for his collection of sculptures called the Vanishing Species series, which depicts sea creatures that are becoming extinct. When Norman Gitson is not sculpting, he's actively helping out with environmental causes and efforts. Many environmental experts believe that climate change and the use of GMO crops has led to a decline in the monarch butterfly population. Because of this, Norman has created a hospitable habitat for the monarch butterfly at his residence. It is widely believed that the sea turtle population is also declining, which is not a good thing for our marine life and in turn bad for our planet's ecosystem in general. To support and help increase the sea turtle population, Norman regularly goes to local beaches and helps release baby turtles to the sea. These are generally turtles still in eggs who need a little extra help getting out from underneath their sandy nest, so Norman helps with the digging. The honeybee is another creature whose numbers are falling. Norman does all he can to support this population as well. Losing the honeybee would limit our food supply dramatically as well as affecting the whole ecosystem. Norman supports the bee population by allowing them to build their hives wherever they like on his property. Overall, Norman lives a sustainable, do-it-yourself, organic type of lifestyle. For starters, he built his house with his own hands, which is a unique styled home. He lets nature's animals cohabitate on his property with him in a sort of friendly type of commune. A natural habitat of Florida's native foliage thrives on his property, and if you listen to him speak, he'll make you believe you should consider doing the same yourself. Norman believes grass is bad for the environment, and he brings up good points regarding the fertilizer and pesticides polluting our drinking water. Hello, I'm Norman Gitson. I'm here at my home and studio out in Western Lake Worth, well, by Wellington in Florida, and I'm here to tell you about my Vanishing series. I'm a local sculptor out here, and I do a marine life series I call Vanishing to remind people that we're losing them. I do dolphins. This is a bluefin tuna that I'm working on. It's not finished yet. This is a sea turtle that I'm also working on. It's not quite finished yet. Um, I've done sailfish, several other vanishing pieces that are, thank God, sold right now. The reason I created the Vanishing series is because pretty much the entire ocean is in danger, pretty much the planet. Um, I've always been an environmentalist. Nature is my biggest muse, and it's a dirty ocean out there. Our rivers are dirty. Every, it's not the same uh, planet that I grew up in. Um, so these are in, environmental awareness pieces to remind people that you know we, we've got to change our ways or your children are not going to see these creatures uh, they won't be here much longer because they're losing their food and they're swimming in poison water basically and on a not as serious note I have a statue here called the siren that I did um, and she was placed out in Wellington back in 2005 I think it was and she created quite a stir so um, locally I'm more recognized from this statue here, but this is just her mini me. The big one is 10 foot tall, and she's actually at a farm out in Wellington right now as we speak for a big party, so I'm happy about that. I recently had the opportunity to interview Norman Gitson by the pond at Casa Capricorn. Where did you get the name Casa Capricorn from? Well, I'm Capricorn, so I called it that, and one of the first architectural elements that I did for the house was um, either side of the front door and I made Capricorn corbels and uh, and you can clearly see that it's a, a goat head and a half goat half fish that's the true sign of a Capricorn is the oceans and the mountains um, I've always loved the ocean and all the ocean creatures and Jacques Cousteau and you know grew up watching that program and just dreaming to live in a place where I could scuba dive so I uh, fell in love with um, marine creatures and see what they've been going through all these years because of uh, all the wrong things that 
greedy corporate America is doing, the fisheries and whatnot. So I just thought it'd be a good awareness piece to make something that was, it's kind of abstract, but it's not. I mean, you can clearly see that it's a sea turtle or it's a dolphin, but there I make them pixelated so you can see through them to remind people that we're losing them, and I call them vanishing. Uh, nature is my biggest muse of all my sculptures, and my mission statement is put habitat where you live. You know, don't wait for the weekend to load up your SUV and take the kids to some park when you could wake up with nature every day. You can plant things that will benefit uh, the environment um, because there's a lot of homes out there. Just look around and if everybody treated their yard like a park, uh, we would have a lot more nature to look at and for your kids to look at. Uh, people should not be putting water, precious water, on their lawn. They shouldn't even have a lawn. They should have habitat. And because you need gasoline engines to take care of all that lawn, people put fertilizers and pesticides on that lawn. We need bugs. They're the base of the food chain. Um, butterflies are in huge trouble. The monarch in the past couple of years has, I think, uh, their population is in half of what it used to be in just a couple of years because of what Monsanto was doing with their Roundup poison. It's killing all the natural milkweed in the Midwest. Oh, when I drive down the road with the mermaid, yeah, I get a lot of um, honks on the horn, a lot of people filming and giving me the thumbs up, and it's always fun to see the reaction of people when going down the street. Norman Gitson shows his art collection and the Vanishing Species series at many events and gatherings throughout South Florida. You can get more information about him on his Facebook page and his website at www.normangitson.com.